control nets are widely used for adding spatial control in image generation with different conditions such as depth maps, canny edges and human poses. But there are various challenges when leveraging the pre-trained image control nets for control video generation. First, pre-trained control net cannot be directly plugged into new backbone models due to the mismatch of future spaces and the cost of training control nets for new backbone is a big burden for many users. Also, control net features for different frames might not effectively handle the temporal consistency of objects. To address these challenges, Control Adapter is launched. Control Adapter, as you can see on your screen, is an efficient and versatile framework that adds diverse controls to any image video diffusion models by adapting pre-trained control nets and improving temporal alignment for videos. Control Adapter provides strong and diverse capabilities including image control, video control, video control with sparse frames, multi-condition control compatibility with different backbone models, adaptation to unseen control conditions and video editing. In the control adapter framework, the researchers have trained adapter layers that fuse pre-trained control net features to different image video diffusion models while keeping the parameters of control nets and the diffusion model frozen. Control adapter consists of temporal as well as spatial modules so that it can effectively handle the temporal consistency of videos. Additionally, for robust adaptation to different backbone models and sparse control, these researchers have proposed latent skipping and inverse timestamp sampling. Also, control adapter enables control from multiple conditions by simply taking the weighted average of control net outputs. In this paper, there are a lot of examples which are scattered throughout uh, it and I will drop the link in video description. For example, if you look at this picture on the left one, they have trained an adapter module which is in orange to map the middle output blocks of pre trained control net which is in the blue color to the corresponding middle block of the target video diffusion model which is in the green, and then they keep all parameters in both the control net and the target video diffusion model frozen. That is why training a control adapter can be significantly more efficient than training a new video control net. So or if you look at this figure, this is where the whole uh, block thing of control adapter is happening where it consists of four modules. So there is uh, spatial convolution, temporal convolution, spatial attention, and also temporal attention. The temporal convolution and attention modules model effectively fuse the control net features for better temporal consistency. And they have various examples here. For example, in this example, this is a video generation with condition control. And then, for example, if I scroll a little bit down, you will see that this is again a man riding a motorcycle, jumps off the cliff. This is a control and this is a generated video. How good is that? And then again, close up of majestic white dragon with pearlescent eyes. How good is that? And then in another example, you can see that a lady is uh, in a white t-shirt taking a pleasant stroll in Mumbai, India during a beautiful sunset. So other than that, there are a lot of things which are Pretty great about this uh, model and framework. Let me show you a few more examples. For example, look this one. On the left hand side, we have the control that at the top is a input image, and then on the right hand side, there is generated video just out of that image. How good is that? And look at the photorealistic video. And then similarly, there is a condition of training depth, and in front is no, uh, normal map. There you go. And similarly. When you look at this one, this is where they are showing the original content, uh, control net taking the latent as part of their input. So a lot of things uh, are happening in this one. And all in all, I believe one of the real good research of today, I should say, because every day there is a new research. 
I will drop the link to its uh, GitHub page in video's description. Go through it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.